If you can only go to an aerial studio, say twice a week, then you need to supplement with two other days of training in order to make sure you're maximizing your time in the aerial gym. Hey guys, this is uh, Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. We're gonna talk today about grip, specifically training grip for aerial. This is the limiting factor that people have when they try to train aerial. You'll get Pilates people and dance people come in and they want to learn aerial. And they will have all the physical attributes necessary, the range of motion, the strength, everything, except an ability to grab onto something and hold on and pull. Being able to do a pull up is not a crazy thing. It's a normal human movement, but it's not something that most people learn because people grow up in cities. They don't grow up climbing trees the way that I did, but this is something that you're gonna run into all the time when people are trying to learn aerial. They will not have a connection and an ability to pull from their shoulder all the way down. Whether it's hammock, you see it all the time, inability to invert silks. When we climb silks or rope, just climbing is even for extremely strong people, you'll see this in CrossFit, people will go to CrossFit and they'll be able to knock out butterfly pull-ups and won't be able to climb a rope because the grip is different. So we have the two types of grip we're gonna talk about. We have what we call Gorilla Grip, which is our barbell grip, which is our pull-up grip, but then we have other grips, specifically Ice Cream Cone OK Grip. This is the grip that we use in heavy club swinging all the time, which is why I advocate it. It's the most kind of complicated form of grip you can get before you get into like rock climbing grip, which is the no grip grip. So the grip, instead of having your fingers pulling against your fingers, you're pulling against the line of your arm. A way that we train this with people, the way that you can train this, is very simple. We're going to use something that's going to mimic a hammock. Uh, this can be a workout towel that they give you at the front desk, say of 24 hour fitness. Right now we are going to use my Star Trek Beyond Premiere t-shirt because uh, it's what's in my bag. So what we're going to do is we are going to start by putting this cable machine at a reasonable height. Probably equal with your shoulder. It can be low, it can be high. That's not super important. What is important is the fact that we're going to take this and we're going to thread it through the clip that's on the edge of this cable. Uh, now what we have is something which allows us to mimic the grip that we're going to have on silk and or hammock or rope. If you have that grip, trapeze grip, monkey grip is not nearly as hard. So this is just a standard gym cable machine. You see this in every gym, in every box gym, Globo's gym, 24 hour fitness, Equinox, UK gym box, standard bodybuilding equipment since the 1960s. So what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves back from the machine. I'm gonna put one knee on the ground. I'm gonna have opposite hand, opposite leg. We're gonna get off the machine, creating cross body stabilization around. So we're firing the X that we're always trying to fire, whether it's with kettlebells, or clubs, or sandbags. We're gonna start here and we're gonna pull all the way back, all the way out, all the way back. Don't do this thing where you half let it out. Go ahead and let it go all the way out because this initiation here is important. From a full straight arm, like it's a dead hang on a hammock, you're gonna go ahead and pull. Pull not just with your arm, but with your body because you never pull your arm without your body in aerial activity. Something's always pulling and connecting to the core. Good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a couple of reps to demonstrate and then we're going to change sides. This is my bad knee so it doesn't like being on hard floor unaccompanied but that's okay. Straight arm. You'll see that grip is not a monkey grip like you would have with a normal gym handle. It is a fabric grip. Literally using fabric to grip. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna start with a light weight. Whatever you can do, you're gonna do 10 reps. Then you're going to bounce yourself up a click and you're gonna repeat the series again. And you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You're gonna change sides. Get that thing all the way off so it's not touching the machine. And then you're gonna do 10. And then, you're gonna bump it up 
and you are going to keep bumping it up. Uh, there we go. Until you're pulling this whole stack of weights over here. As the weight gets heavier and heavier, you're gonna be forced to do more and more work. You're gonna be forced to connect across from this leg to this hand through the X. Side effect is you're gonna get abs. Everything's an ab exercise if you're doing it right. Everything is an ab exercise if you're doing it right. Favorite way to do this, start low. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Build up until you can't do it anymore, until you lose it, and you can't do 10 reps, and then go back down. So it's a pyramid, as heavy as you can go, all the way back down. And you're gonna get a lot of reps learning to create this initiation here from your shoulder, pull, getting that correct grip in, getting that core to fire, and you'll be driving down through your leg. Simple, easy way to train the thing that nobody has, the correct grip for aerial. If you can only go to an aerial studio, say twice a week, then you need to supplement with two other days of training in order to make sure you're maximizing your time in the aerial gym. Learning neurologically to do this grip and create that pull over and over and over. Your body is physically capable of doing it, then you just have to get your brain to do it. That's a whole nother thing. The difference between body initiation, having the muscles, making sure that they're actually doing stuff efficiently, and then the neural part, getting the brain to voluntarily actually do it. So uh, this is uh, Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica in a gym somewhere in London. Uh, a little bit of advice on training the initiated grip for aerial.